Iger, Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here, 9 o'clock, Tiger Financial News Network market update. And we're looking on this Monday, the 22nd of April. We're looking at the Dow up 198 to 38,406 in the Dow futures. This is actually the start of a leg A for the first time. We've seen that since that last high that was back in April the 1st. Uh, and we're looking also at the S&P going to the ES Mini. This is going to be the, oops, where did I go? All right, I'll do it again. The ES Mini. There it is. Trading up 29. And that's a little different. This is uh, after the terrible candle on Friday. This is an inside bar. It really needs to get to the 5,062 level to show that it's a little gumption to the upside. So far, this is just a bounce. Let's look at the uh, NQ, which is the ND, uh, NDX 100. A trading vehicle, E-mini, e NASDAQ 100, continuous contract up 121 at 17,302. That was really an ugly candle together with the semi semiconductors on Friday. So this is an inside bar. Uh, it needs to get, it needs by Wednesday to actually be trading the 17,580 to 17,600 level to say this could be a decent bounce. <clears throat> IW, this, so the Russell now, the Russell 2000 is up. Uh, 11, this is quite a good move, up 0.61%. That's one of the better ones. 1972, um, yes, this is a gray leg, A to the upside. Wow, the technicals are still bad. Now, this is very interesting because gold is down $62 at 2,351. I said to my subscribers over the weekend that if there was even a hint of some kind of peace in the Middle East, that gold finally could have a pretty decent pullback. <clears throat> And we're going to watch this very closely. 2,351. I would say that 2,333 is the level to watch. If it goes under that, that's going to change the technical somewhat. And let's go to the dollar. Now, it doesn't mean to say the dollar has to skyrocket to the upside, although it's up nicely, up 12 ticks. At 106.24, uh, it could just hold very well here, maybe as gold pulls back. Let's go to crude oil, crude oil. <clears throat> Same thing. If there's uh, any hint of peace, then crude can come down. It's down 92 cents at 81.32. And we have to go to bonds because, wow, bonds have been just hammered. And they're down again today, almost a half a point. Not a good sign. So there's a very mixed market here. I'll be back uh, for the uh, to do the to help out and do the uh, hour coming up, the 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock hour, where Tommy usually does his uh, morning market kickoff. So I'll be back.